Fort News A's Leon Hendricks has what they had to say tonight. Brian and Marley, good evening to both of you. The group of six we spoke with ranged in age from 26 to 83. Going into the debate, they said they weren't sure who they were supporting, but coming out of the debate, they all said they came out with a favorite, all but two. They watched intently as the candidates debated all four for the first time, and everyone in the room saw something they liked. If I could roll all of them in and make a lot of that would be great. The six people we interviewed are all from Kent County. They vote, and they've actively participated in campaigns in the past. They said they wanted to see substance. The whole system is messed up. Yeah, let's get these roads fixed. And most of those in the room say they found it from lesser-known candidates, State Senator Patrick Kolbeck and Dr. Jim Hines. Everybody thought it'd be between Kelly and Shooty at this point in time, but now we get a fresh look at a Kolbeck and a Hines yeah. with some different ideas. I was just turned off by the fact that Kelly's answers just seemed so memorized. What they all seemed to not like was the jabs back and forth between Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly and Attorney General Bill Shooty. No, no, because it was almost as if the other two candidates yeah. weren't even there, like they didn't exist. Trump supporters, all but one. But Mo said they were sick of hearing about the president's endorsement choice time and time again. It was that a turn off for everybody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, we know. Yeah, it's like you played the Trump card. We have the Trump card. And you know what, Sam? It didn't turn me off at all. The guy had an advantage, and he, and he took advantage oh, of it. Okay. And yeah. I say more power to him. While they were not in agreement on any one candidate, their consensus on one question, perhaps a success for all of the candidates in tonight's debate. Is there any chance that any of you would vote for the Democrat candidate? No. 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 It doesn't matter who it is. Nope. <laughs> Now, the group we put together was not done scientifically. We make no claims that they represent the views of the Republican Party or even the party faithful. They did key in on a couple of soft skills regarding some of the candidates. They said they recognized how polished that Callie and Shooty were. They said that was actually a turnoff. They felt that the other two candidates came off as more sincere. Reporting live at the Media Arts Center tonight, Leon Hendricks, 24-hour news eight.